Good morning, everyone. You're most welcome to our morning prayer this morning. And we're coming to you from St. Michael's Parish in Inchicore. Uh, my name is Dermot. I'm an oblate of Mary Immaculate. And uh, on this Easter Monday, the day after the Resurrection Day, Easter Sunday, we have the Gospel from St. Matthew. Matthew chapter 28, a few verses from the Gospel. It was beginning to dawn into the first day of the week. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to the tomb. Then a great earthquake took place. For the angel of the Lord, coming down from heaven and approaching, rolled the stone away and sat on the stone. And the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He's not here. He has been raised, as he said. Say to his disciples that he has been raised from the dead and he will precede you into Galilee and you will see him there. So departing quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy, they ran to announce to his disciples and they saw Jesus. And Jesus met them and said, Do not be afraid. Go and announce to my brothers that they go to Galilee and they will see me there. Today's Gospel account from Matthew and the Resurrection. A couple of things about this. In today's Gospel, in this Gospel we have, we have the shock, the disbelief, the fear, the frustration, the wonder of Mary, when she arrived at the tomb and found Jesus wasn't there. And the reassurance by the angel and the great joy when she met Jesus, who reassured her again. And it's interesting to note that it was to the women that Jesus appeared first. The men had all fled, the trial, the crucifixion and so on. The women stayed by the cross. They were horrified, appalled, terrified, but they remained there by the cross. And the others, the close followers of Jesus, especially the apostles, those that he had spent two to three years with, those he had given time, lots of time to, they ran away as the reality of what was happening hit them. And it was all too much for them. They hadn't signed up for this messy business of arrest, trial, torture, crucifixion and so on. They were terrified. Their dreams were finished, their hopes were dashed. All they had planned and hoped for was out the window. Useless. Are we like that sometimes? Are people like that? When we're faced with some difficult situation, we want to run away, not to be there, not to be around, to get out. So maybe today we can pray for people who are feeling down, feeling betrayed, who feel overcome, there are so many people who are overwhelmed and feel helpless in the face of what's happening in Gaza and are afraid to speak out. Let's pray for them today. And entrust them to Mary, our mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our deaths. Amen. God bless you and thank you for listening.